If you have a complex shoulder pain case that have failed traditional approaches, something that's worked really useful for me is simplifying your functional anatomy and linking it to the lower limb. So if we look at the hamstring and we look at how that's designed, we can see it's very similar to the long head of biceps in the upper limb. And when we look at the functional anatomy of the hamstring, a key function is not as a prime mover, but as a force transmitter. So as that foot hits the floor, if my hamstring works well, it co-contracts at the knee and allows my glute to do more work. When we bring that analogy up into the upper limb, we can see now that the long head of biceps doing the work of a hamstring transmit forces which sets the deltoid up for success. So now the deltoid can do its job, which can then, as a second order consequence, take a lot of the stress off those smaller rotator cuff muscles. Then if we bring in the triceps, we can see it's very, very similar to the quadriceps. So again, the quadriceps are strong prime movers and knee extensors. So we can see when someone gets up off a chair, we want that tricep to do a lot of work. If the tricep can't do a lot of work, then potentially we might skip the loading the tricep and then that force has to go somewhere else, usually up into the shoulder. Well, that's what I'm gonna show you over the next few days is how to look at the bicep and the tricep as force transmitters rather than just prime movers to help the shoulder be successful with these complex cases.